We are now starting to see a repeat of the pandemic's crippling impact. Once again, Corktown's Michigan Avenue will be empty come this St. Patrick's Day. Based on safety for everybody, as sponsors and, and the participants in the city, we just felt that it was uh, too short a notice to try to pull the trigger on a parade and make it successful and, and do everything that we do for such a great event. Mike Kelly, president of the United Irish Societies, says there weren't a lot of options in going forward with Detroit's St. Patrick's Parade while trying to maintain COVID-19 safety protocols, given it draws upwards of 80 to 100,000 people to Corktown each March. He says 2020's cancellation, also because of COVID-19, gave participants a new perspective. Michigan Avenue, businesses, sponsors, Irish organizations understand the impact uh, that the parade has uh, on Detroit and in Corktown. It's a significant uh, economic impact. Kelly says it's not just a big party featuring floats and marching bands, but Irish organizations spend the year raising money for charities, depending on events like the parade. Since 2018, UIS says it's donated more than 32 grand to various nonprofits. Looking ahead, as COVID-19 vaccinations become widespread and the virus hopefully gets under control, organizers are already looking forward to a bigger and better celebration next year. We should be back to normal. They're talking about even fall of uh, 21, things will be getting back around with concerts and live events. So we're figuring by March of 2022, we should have a, a, a historic event. For more information on the annual event and the good it does for the community, just find a link on our website, wxyz.com. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.